We will talk to the mitzvah of eating matzah on Pesach. So there are various psukim which the Torah refers to this mitzvah of eating matzah on Pesach. Some say you should have eat matzot for six days, some say you should eat matzot for seven days, some say you will eat matzot only on the first night, and the Gemara concludes that the obligation of eating matzot applies only the first night, and if you live in Chutzlars, unfortunately, it's the second night as well. Um, so that's the obligation to eat matzah on Pesach. First point is that this obligation, even though it is a time-bound positive commandment, and a time-bound positive commandment normally women are exempt from, um, nonetheless the obligation of eating matzah on Pesach um, applies to women as well. Um, the exception to the rule is based on the fact that there is a negative prohibition and a positive prohibition, both of which uh, um, are attached one to the other, and, and, uh, and the Gemara learns that again, that, um, that women have also an obligation, just like they have the obligation with the negative prohibition, they have the obligation with the positive commandment to eat, um, to eat matzah on Pesach. So that means on Seder night, first or second if you have, to eat matzah on Pesach. How much matzah does one have to eat in order to fulfill the obligation uh, um, to eat matzah and Pesach. So, as the Gemara says, and on the Halakha states, like all the other, most of the other um, eating obligations, the, the, the amount you should be eating is kazait, which means an olive size of matzah. We assume that the olives that we have today are slightly smaller than the olives that Chazal had, and, or had in mind when they referred to the obligation of, of kazait, um, and it's therefore today usually referred to a, a square 27, 27 centimeters. So that's um, again uh, about five over five and a half over one. Um, it's about a matchbox size of, um, of, uh, of volume. That's the kazite. That doesn't sound like much of matzah, and that's true. That's not really a lot of matzah. However, um, because it comes to this is a, 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 a an obligation which is a Torah obligation, and there are other opinions how large is the kazait that Chazal meant, um, when it comes to these um, um, the Oraita, Torah mitzvot, we follow the strict opinion which doubles the amount, um, and that's about 56 square centimeters, uh, squared centimeters, um, which is again about double, and that's the amount which one should be eating on Pesach. Um, making it easy because we don't really crush it and, and check the volume of the matzah. So that has to be translated into the matzah we know. So this would sum up about to be about a, um, a half of a machine matzah or somewhere between a half of a machine matzah and, and, um, and two thirds of a machine matzah. That will be the obligation to eat the matzah on Pesach. Um, however, the rabbis have established more um, kazayits to be eaten on Pesach. On Seder night, the, the, uh, the one is for the bracha of hamotzi, the second is for the bracha of motzi matzah, which we say the two brachot for the Pesach, for the, for the matzah, that, that's, that's how we get two uh, um, kazayits one for each bracha, and then there's another one that we would eat for koreh, for the Hillel sandwich, and another kazayit of matzah that we would eat for the afikoma. Once again, on a Torah level, one has to eat only one kazayit. The rabbis have added three more, um, some even hold four more, uh, um, for afikoma, and one for, for uh, the, the matzah that will be eaten, and one for the, with the afikoman, with the korban pesach, and one which resembles the korban pesach itself. That sums up together up to uh, uh, five kazayits of matzah maximum. So, the deoraita, the Torah obligation of kazayit, we follow the strict measurement of matzah, and that will be two thirds of, um, of, a, of a machine matzah. All the others are really, um, we can follow the normal way we hold, which is a third of a matzah. So we would have two thirds 
for the first um, for the first uh, two kazites. That's uh, again because two thirds really cover the Doraita and the Dorabanan, and therefore we'll have two thirds of a matzah for the of a matzah for the first um, um, kazait for the brachot, and then another third which we have for the korek sandwich, and and one or two more for for afikoman. And once again, the obligation for matzah, eating matzah and Pesach, applies to both men and women. Um, one more point, there's also a time limit by which you have to have your matzah, your kazai. So eating a kazai has to be within a certain time. The time is what the rabbis call the time it takes to, have to eat a half a loaf of bread, which was a known measurement in those days, which is referred to in our, uh, in our minutes into somewhere between four minutes and eight minutes. Um, basically speaking, if you eat your two-thirds in, in a normal pace without wasting time on chatting, um, you don't have to eat any different than normal. And within the time it takes you to finish the two-thirds of a matzah, of a matzah you, you're doing well, and that's what one should be eating on, on Saturday night.